what is up you guys it's katya books welcome back to the channel and welcome to this vlog style video and happy saint patrick's day oh speaking of saint patrick's day okay that's a lot better so got my lucky charm shirt i'm not gonna have lucky charms for breakfast but i was thinking it might be fun to try to eat all green things today so let's see how that goes the only thing that won't be green is my coffee of course um, but yeah, I'm gonna make it and then bring it back up here because downstairs my parents all listen to listening to the news because as you all know with coronavirus, we are all pretty much almost quarantined. So that means all the gyms are closed, which means I'm gonna do an at-home workout. So I'll show you guys that as well because today, otherwise I would have a push day. So it would be chest, triceps, and shoulders. So we're gonna be doing that from home. So I'm gonna go make my breakfast and I'll be right back. All right, so I made my breakfast, which I typically do like a hot cereal. And since I'm kind of lower carb right now, we've got my zucchini oats. So those are already green. And then what I did, I usually top it with, I'll mix PB2 peanut butter powder with some regular nut butter. So that's this right here. And I did put a little bit of green food coloring. So this time it's the PB2 with my Brazil nut butter. If you wanna see the video on when I made different nut butters, I'll put the little thing up here. But yeah, so I'm gonna spread that around. And this, I did not change the color. This was already green because of the zucchini. And then I added my Live Body Protein Powder for the cinnamon cookie crumble. If you haven't checked out that review, I'll also put up the card for that. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I'm gonna have my regular coffee um yeah i can't really make mm, i can't really make this green and i don't have a green mug unfortunately so i'm gonna get to some reading this is just like my morning thing i'll usually read i'm right now reading war and peace um so yeah i'm gonna enjoy this and then i'll catch you guys in a bit so don't forget to drink your water as well <laughs> I had to, you guys. I had to. Green water. All it is is these Jolly Rancher like flavor packets. I know, I know. They're chemicals, whatever. But they taste freaking good. It's green apple. I love it. It tastes good. And I just thought it's fun for St. Patrick's Day. So, yeah. Do more reading. Chillax. I mean, it's only like 11 o'clock, so I'm not going to have lunch quite yet. Maybe around 12 whenever I feel hungry, but anyways, yeah, thought I'd keep you guys up to date with just what I'm having, you know? So that's the kind of day it is. So now I'm ready to have some lunch. I am going to make edamame spaghetti, cause it's green of course, and probably cook up some broccoli and green beans, cause I just have frozen broccoli and green beans, um, but right now, I was gonna snack on some pickle slices because I really enjoy pickles but yeah so I'm gonna have some of this I'm gonna cook up the pasta with the broccoli and green beans I probably put like some tamari or something on top of it but I'll show you guys when I'm done so meal number two we've got the edamame pasta broccoli and there's some green beans in there and then I'm gonna just top it off with liquid aminos and just eat that up so yeah high in protein this meal is i don't know exactly how much like probably like 25 grams or more of protein so yeah gonna eat this up all right so since all the gyms are closed we are going to do an alternative workout here at home and i'll show you guys what i'm doing for my push day and maybe if you guys want to see me do also like how I do my leg days and all those other kind of workouts because we don't know how long, you know, this whole quarantine thing is going to last for, uh, let me know if you guys want to see. Um, this is a workout that requires certain equipment. So it's not like just, I guess you would say home workout. Um, so unless you have this equipment, you may not be able to do it, but I'm just doing it for this video's sake to show you guys how I'm coping with the fact that I can't go to the regular gym <laughs> right now. Anyway, so I'm gonna put my contacts in and I'm gonna change real quick and then we'll also have like a quick pre-workout 
snack. Um, I may, no, I think I'm just gonna do some coffee for a pre-workout, but yeah. So this is the quick setup. My dad has this old bench. We've got some free weight. Um, there's a treadmill. I'm gonna use that to warm up, but yeah, so we've got, these are 20s, 10s, and 25s over here. I'm gonna have some music playing on that. There's, oops, sorry, I have my tripod attached to this. My coffee and yes, so I'm gonna drink my coffee and then we'll start this workout. progressive overload and there would be like you know a whole assortment of weights but since all we have is up to the 25 pounds I'm gonna be just doing four sets with the 25 pounds for chest press um, or dumbbell chest press for as many reps as I can for four sets so we'll see how I do Next, we're gonna do the Svend, Svend press. It's hard to say, it's S-V-E-N-D. And you can either do the standing or line, but since we're just focusing on chest today, we're gonna do it lying down. You've probably seen it. It's where you have a weight. Usually it's a plate. So if you don't have plates at your house, um, you could probably pass by, I don't know, maybe finding a heavy cutting board or something. But yeah, if you do it standing up, yeah, you hold the weight, you try to not like grip onto it. And for standing up, press out, that's gonna hit chest and shoulders. But I'm gonna do it lying down just to focus on that really inner chest portion. So for all you guys really trying to target that part of your chest, this is a great exercise. program I have cable chest flies but obviously I don't have any cable systems in my garage so I'm just gonna opt for dumbbell chest fly I'm gonna warm up using the little five pound plates see how that feels because usually I prefer cables than lying so if it feels okay then I'll move up to the 10 pounds because with chest flies obviously you're gonna use a lot less weight than if you're doing just regular chest press so yeah here we go <laughs> I'm gonna go 
shoulders doing single arm dumbbell press. I'm going to start with the 10s and then just go to the 20s since I don't have anything in between obviously so let's do it. Next, I would usually at the gym do a super set of dumbbell lateral raises with tricep pushdowns. I can do the dumbbell lateral raises, but not the tricep pushdowns. So instead, we're going to do tricep kickbacks with the dumbbells. So, yeah, let's do it. to the last exercise which usually usually it would be overhead tricep pull throughs I don't know what to really call them but you know go like that but obviously without a cable system we're just gonna do it with the dumbbells here <laughs> Okay, whew. I finished that workout. I am so tired. That was a really solid workout with like just the dumbbells and such. And let me get my tripod. Ah. Oh man, but it's time to go eat. And I think I'm gonna make a protein shake, but a green protein shake. So yeah, let's go do that. All right, I wanna show you guys the secret to making a delicious protein milkshake without having to add ice cream in it to make it extra thick and creamy. So we're gonna do a delicious vanilla protein shake and I definitely wanna get my greens in there, but typically I would use a greens powder, but because I don't want that like 
extra taste of grains in it. I'm going to be using the Sun Warrior. This is the Clean Greens and Protein. This is like exclusive to their app. You can download it. It's a free app and then you can use my coupon code to get an extra 20% off. But otherwise you can use any vanilla protein powder and if you want to add the greens, go ahead and use a greens powder. This is the one I use as well, but it'll add like an extra tint and we're just going for a straight vanilla flavor. So I'm going to show you what to do. All right, guys. So start with half a cup of ice. Go ahead, add your vanilla clean greens protein right in there. Just adding the one scoop. And then of course, whatever milk of choice, I'm just using almond milk until, okay. Yeah, so I ended up just using the rest of this almond milk, honestly, but typically I put a little less than what I put in here, but it's whatever. Then, of course, we've got to add a little extra vanilla, so get the non-alcohol vanilla extract. That's going to be your safest bet. And then, of course, put the lid on, and you want to blend this until you pretty much don't hear any chunky ice sounds any longer, so it should be smooth pretty much. And then, of course, the secret ingredients, square gum, choo -choo -choo. so yeah, only one to two grams of this stuff to make this a nice milkshake. Otherwise, any more than that will make it a lot, lot thicker. So, of course, you can just play around with the amounts and just blend it up and yeah. So I've got my green, kind of green vanilla shake. Of course, if you want to be all natural, you could do this with adding spinach. But yes, the secret to making this super thick and rich, like a regular milkshake that you would add ice cream to, is the guar gum. And yes, guar gum instead of xanthan gum, because guar gum is used for cold stuff, whereas xanthan gum typically used for baking. I've seen it used vice versa, like if you look at the back of a pint of ice cream it has both guar gum and xanthan gum but guar gum actually costs less as well so i highly recommend using it i also use it sometimes with baking as well because it will create a nice thicker consistency almost pudding like if you make something like a protein mug cake i can show you guys that as well if you'd like to see but this is so nice and vanilla y i highly recommend using that protein powder because you won't get any of the greens kind of flavor and it'll give you a nice rich vanilla milk shake and then add just an extra little bit of the non-alcoholic vanilla extract you know if you get the alcoholic you can actually kind of taste the alcohol and it just tastes super fakey um, if you want to go the extra extent you can also just do a vanilla bean but that's kind of costly so just get the extract super easy but yeah I'm gonna enjoy this mmm yeah, super thick. <laughs> Was still feeling a little snackish after that delicious milkshake. And so I made some shishito peppers. I just cooked them on a pan with a little bit of those uh, liquid aminos. You can use tamari or soy sauce if you want, but that's what we had in the pantry. So I used them. So I'm going to snack on these and do some stuff on my computer. All right, just got out of taking a nice hot shower back in my Lucky Charms shirt and I'm ready for another meal. So let's go down and find something green to eat. So I don't know if I'm the only one, but <laughs> I'm craving a salad and I typically crave salad sometimes. I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but I'm gonna do some shredded iceberg lettuce. It's green. And I'm gonna just top it with some hemp seeds, I mean, they're not particularly green, but the bag is green. And <laughs> bacon bits, because guess what? The I think it's like the McCormick brand or something. They're actually vegan, because it's made from soy and wheat, I think. Something like that. And then I'm out of regular salad dressing, so we're going to just put on some olive oil, because olives are green. And I'm kind of low in fats as well. So... This will be perfect for helping me just get my fats up a little bit because it's already like six o'clock and I don't know. Yeah, I've just been kind of lagging behind. But anyways, let's just mix this up and then I'll show you guys the final product. All right, so I got my salad right here. I ended up also adding some nutritional yeast on top because it's good for you. I mean, it has nutritional in the name. It's got B12, all that fun stuff. But yeah, I don't know. 
It's got that cheesy flavor, so cheese and bacon, I guess. So I'm gonna eat this, watch some television, because you know, what else do you do when you're quarantined? So yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so I'm craving another snack after that delicious salad. Something a little sweeter, so I thought I would make my favorite protein mug cake and share the recipe with you guys. I'm gonna be, of course, making it green, but just with some food coloring <laughs> um, for the sake of this video. But we're gonna be making a cinnamon cookie crumble mug cake. <laughs> I almost didn't finish that sentence. But anyways, to make this, you're gonna need your protein powder. We're gonna also use, again, the guar gum because it makes it nice and almost pudding-like. It just depends how long you cook it for as well. Some vital wheat gluten, it'll keep it really together and cakey. And then of course some baking soda and baking powder. So I'm gonna do about like 25 to 30 grams of the protein, um, about like five to six grams of the vital wheat gluten, and then about one gram of the guar gum. You don't need much when you're just doing a mug cake. It's only when you're doing like a protein ice cream or a milkshake do you need like the three to five grams and then like not even half a teaspoon of or not half a teaspoon like not even like a quarter of a teaspoon of the baking powder and baking soda so I'm gonna mix that up into my mug I am gonna spray it with some of this you know nonstick cooking spray just to make sure it doesn't stick and then we'll pop it in the microwave I don't know how many watts a typical microwave is but um, yeah for like a minute that's what I typically do. You'll watch it um, because the baking powder and baking soda, it'll rise a little bit and just make sure it doesn't overflow. So yeah. Real quick tip, but once you put your powders all in your cup, get a fork so that it's all really well combined before mixing the water because since there's guar gum in it, it might just selectively clump up and then it won't mix as well when you put the water in. Um, and then the amount of water, I don't have like an exact measurement, but get it to the point where it's kind of almost like a thick paste, like pudding-like consistency. So, and then just use like the end of a knife to make sure you get all the edges and all the powders well combined. Yep. Okay. Ah, oh, it's so nice and green. It could have made it a little greener. But um, pro tip, the Wilton's gel food colorings, they are indeed vegan. So yeah, I could have... Yeah, made a little more green, but yeah, so this is gonna taste like a nice cinnamon cookie. The green doesn't add any crazy flavors. Um, maybe I'll have to try to make a shamrock shake for you guys. Do you want me to make a video of making a shamrock shake? Let me know. We can make it a protein version too. So yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna snack on this and continue YouTubing and all that other fun stuff. Uh, hello guys, so my parents are watching the television, so we need to be quiet, but I'm having a diamond and do because it's green, Wee St. Patrick's Day. Also, I feel like having some coffee, just gonna have some decaf, because hey, it's green right there, decaf, so it totally counts. And then of course, I want to make another mug cake, it's gonna be the same as the last recipe, so just follow that. Only difference is I'm gonna use the Sun Warrior Protein Warrior Blend in vanilla because that stuff is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to keep your eye on the mug because it kind of overflowed just a bit, but it's whatever. Still tastes good, so. And I topped it off with some peanut butter because your girl likes her peanut butter. Hell yeah! Mm hmm. Yes. All right, sorry about like the yellow tint to this last clip. I don't have my ring light with me. I don't feel like setting it up. But anyways, I'm on to just last snack of the night. Rice cake with some Brazil nut butter that I made myself. But I know it's not green, um, but I tried my best to eat like green food. I didn't want to go out to the store cause you know, we're pretty much on quarantine with the darn flu. And so I tried my best. Doing as much green as I could. I know I cheated a little using the green dye, but I thought I would have fun since it's St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe, because I'm thinking of just doing some fun quarantine, I don't know, videos, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. So the quarantine coronavirus diaries, 
So yeah, if you want to see other at-home workouts, let me know down below in the comments section. Otherwise, yeah, I hope you guys have a good night. Stay safe out there, wash your hands, and get those gains while you're at it. Don't slack just because you're home. All right, see ya.